All right, we're back again with another Let's Play, and we're continuing on Super Mario 64. Yeah, if I haven't uh, been around in a while, I've have been having a lot of computer issues, and uh, I've been trying to get back into the swing of things during all these computer issues. Um, but uh, at least now I'm able to do, uh, continue my Let's Plays. We're going to the final level of the basement. We've already defeated Bowser. Already gotten the key for the upstairs area, but there's one other level that we have yet to visit. Okay, this is where we need to be, right up in there. See where that star door is? That's where we need to be. That's it. Okay. Now, you remember on our last Let's Play, we tackled the fire level, went down there to defeat Bowser, got in here to Bowser's sub. Now, let's finish out the rest of this level. Just in the cones. Now, all of this is all solid water. Chests in the current, you're looking at it. And that is a strong current. So we gotta find which chest to go into first. That wasn't it. Okay, we need to get a coin so that we can breathe again. I find it kind of weird that Mario regains health by collecting coins. Does that work in real life? Like, if you get hurt, you fall down, you get hurt severely, and then somebody gives you some coins, and you all of a sudden you're almost you're all better again. What are they trying to say? Money makes everything better. Okay, that's good enough. Now let's try this again. Okay, which treasure chest should I open next? How about this one? Watch out for the clam. Hey, there we go. Once you find that first one, it's easy to find the rest of them because you just keep going around. They're all in the order that you reach them. Just gotta find that first one. No, not that one, not that one, not that one, not that one, that one's last. Whoa. Just keep swimming around. That one. Okay. Swim around, swim around, swim around. Avoid the current, avoid the current. There's that chest. Oh, no, 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 no. Turn around. Okay, now. Open. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 no, 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 no current, no current, no, 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 no. I told you that's a very strong current. Very strong current. Okay, watch out for that manta ray, it could sting you. Okay, remember that chest is the one that we open first. No current. Jeez, Louise, that's a strong current. Come on, I mean... <laughs> you got to cut us a little bit of slack here, Shigeru Miyamoto. Watch out for that clam. God, control on this part is lousy. But that's the way Shigeru Miyamoto wanted it, so that's the way he built it. That's the way he designed it. Okay, come on, get the bubble, get the bubble. Thank you. Whew. Okay, get out of the wall. We're not here to unlock glitches, we're here to get past this level. So that we can continue on. Now, what was so hard about doing that up top without getting into the current? Okay, it's on the other side. No current. Okay. Watch out for the shark. And now... 
I'm gonna go over here and then turn around. Hit that to chest straight on. Which I usually don't do. I usually just go right up to it. Release the star. Okay, keep swimming, keep swimming, keep swimming, keep, keep, keep mashing that damn button. Oh yeah, there we go. We made it this time. Here we go! That's one strong current. Probably noticing why we're not getting all the coins this time around. We're waiting for the eight coins to pop up, and that's when the poles will pop up, too. That's where we're at now. Pole jumping for red coins. This one's a bit tricky. Of course, getting all the coins in this particular level is pretty tricky. Okay, first, right off the bat, there's a, a section of... Well, you know what? I like to save that for last anyhow, so let's go ahead and uh, do the Manta Ray quest. That's where you have to swim through these rings that he makes. That's one. Okay, I gotta start over again. This is like Superman 64, flying through rings. Oh, ah, and I got, I got hit. Precision on this thing is quite tricky, too. In fact, everything about this level is tricky. But I find this funny. He's he's releasing air oxygen rings. But look where they're coming from. <laughs> what is he... What are they trying to say? He's got gas? Okay, that's one again. Two. Three. Come on. Oh, I went right through that. Did you see that? Oh... Ah, start over. Look at that. It looks like you go through the rings, but you don't. Nope, went around that one. One. Okay. No! Come on. Okay, here we go. One. Oh, what? One. Didn't even look like I went through that one. It just it just lets you through whenever it feels like it. Okay, I'm missing these rings like crazy. Because he keeps he keeps swimming in a bizarre pattern. This is one of another one I hate. This this entire level actually I hate too. One. No. Okay, come on. One. Two. Come on, come on, come on. Ah! Come on. Fly through his ring, damn it. One. No. 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 You fly too... If you swim too close to him, you get hit. You swim too far away, you can't swim through the rings. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Nope. Never mind. That one didn't work either. There's one place where you can, like, right around here. One, two, three. You can catch a really good run of them. Four. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, what? I swam through it. See, it does it when it feels like it. It, it, it counts when it feels like it. One. See that? One. Here we go. Here we go. Two. What? Look, I'm flying through the rings and it's not counting. One. Nope, that didn't make it. That didn't make it. God. I hate you, Shigeru Miyamoto. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. One. Look, I'm swimming through the rings, it's not counting. Look at that, see? Look at that, look at that, it doesn't even count! I am swimming through the rings, it is not counting, it's broken! This level is broken! Somebody come fix it! See, this is exactly why the curse works. Even when you pull it off, it says, nope! 
Okay, that time I didn't even go through it and it counted. What the hell? Three, four, five. Thank you. And now we get to go near the current to get the star. Isn't that nice of Shigeru Miyamoto to put it in a safe place? Oh, no, 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 no. Just keep swimming. Mash that button, mash that button. Okay. Now you gotta figure out where that damn star is and then just head right for it and hopefully you don't get dragged in by the current too bad. Okay, there it is. Mash that friggin' button. Okay, I don't want to do this again, man. <laughs> that Shigeru Miyamoto curse always gets me. So I just wanted to get that one out of the way because I hate that part. I really, really hate that part. I'm skipping over the pole jumping for eight red coins. I'm skipping over this part. I'm gonna get all the coins anyhow. I don't care. I don't know, whatever one I feel like doing, I'll just start getting the coins now. Screw it. I'm going to find out where I went wrong. Because that's going to drive me nuts until I do this again. And thank Shigeru Miyamoto for putting the curse on me when it wasn't even necessary. I know what you're thinking, Sonic Blue, why do you hate on Shigeru Miyamoto? He's awesome. No. Making you do something over and over again and making you feel like you don't know what you're doing, even when you know what you're doing, and driving you up the wall and backside again and down the other side of the wall without even a driver's license even, is not a decent programmer. But yet we all love his games, we all love his icons, we all love his characters. Everything he's ever done is iconic. From Donkey Kong to Mario to Zelda to... You name it. Kirby. All of his creations have that one thing in common. And folks, I hate to hand it to you, but the curse is there. The curse is there. Okay. So we're getting all of these coins. I know I'm getting all the coins out here. I know, I know, I know I have. I had to have just... I, I had to have missed the blue coin somewhere. That's the only explanation I could think of. Because I have gotten all of the other coins. I could not find one single coin that I was missing, and I was indeed missing two. And yet I've gotten all the red coins, and I've gotten all these gold coins. I did get it. Okay, folks, that's all the coins that's on the other side. Now let's go to this side. Another drill already. Yes, air. What a concept. Okay, now I gotta fight the current that pulls me through this vacuum space. I gotta get that one out of the way, because if I don't, I'm gonna probably regret it. Oh! Tap that, mash that button down, Mario. Mash that friggin' button. Got that one. Down, 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 down. Got him. Got those off the bat. That's a very good Mario. Now, just get out of the vacuum space. Look, I can't even get out of here. It's keeping me here. Okay, here we go. There we go. Okay. Just gotta catch that break. Okay, I've gotten all the coins underneath the water. Right? And believe it or not, this part of getting through the rings is a lot easier than doing it through the manta ray. Okay, so I got 47 coins. I still want to say there's a coin block up here that I'm missing, but there isn't. There's those coins. I've already gotten those. Ow. Alright, well. 
I don't know, folks. I guess it's as good as mine in any account. Alright, well, let's do the red coins again. In fact, I'm just gonna skip ahead. If I do happen to find where that extra coin is, I'll let you know. Did that just give me a number four? Did that go from one, two, and then four? Because I saw a number four jump up from there all of a sudden. I don't know how that happened. Yeah, I got four coins. All right, if you say so. <laughs> who am I? To, who am I to argue with logic? That didn't seem very logical. Okay, we're going to try this again to try and do this without falling. Good. Ah, missed it. Oh, come on! My back was turned to that pole. Shigeru Miyamoto curse strikes again. I bet you if Shigeru Miyamoto was watching this, he'd be laughing up a storm. Yeah. Laughing at me. That's why he does this curse, because it amuses him. It makes him laugh. It puts a smile on his face. Watching all of his fans try to play through his games without making a single mistake, but that's not the way I programmed it. That's my Shigeru Miyamoto impersonation. Hope you all enjoyed it. Probably didn't, but... Uh -huh. Anyhow, Shigeru Miyamoto will laugh in your face, and when you ask him why, why do I have to do this again and again, he'll say, because that's the way I programmed it. Are you having fun yet? This is what we call Japanese torture. See? Oh, you see that? They give it to you, then they take it away from you. Thank you, Shigeru Miyamoto, for your curse. No, I'm just gonna leave this. I'm gonna leave this in. The commentaries are just enough to, you know, keep this thing interesting. Let's see how many attempts that Sonic Blue can make trying to get these damn coins. See how crazy he gets trying to deal with Shigeru Miyamoto's very interesting and intrepid curse. All right, I'm going to this one. I want to get at that blue coin block. Thank you, that's what I've been trying to do all this time, but no, you wouldn't let me. Oh, great. What the hell? Come on. By the time we finish this damn video, you realize it's going to be an hour long? Stupid dumbass. Alright, here we go again for the 80 million time. Here we go again for the 80 million time. Mm. Okay, comment in the section below while I am doing this, folks. How many of you out there have been victim to the Shigeru Miyamoto curse? Tell me all about it in the comments. I'd love to hear yours. I'm dying to hear your experience with the Shigeru Miyamoto curse. How angry do you get at the Shigeru Miyamoto curse? And if you come back saying, I've never had a problem with it, you're lying. Because I know, I've been around a lot of gamers, I've been around a lot of video game players, I have owned this Nintendo for a very long time, I have had lots of friends over at the house, I have seen many, 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 many gamers, all of which whom have played one of many Shigeru Miyamoto's treasured classics, and each and every single one of them have gotten frustrated at the Shigeru Miyamoto curse. So if you tell me that you've never been affected by the Shigeru Miyamoto curse, you're a liar. And I will not believe you. 
So, if you have had issues with the Shigeru Miyamoto curse, please let me know what it is in the comments down below. I would like, once again, I would love to hear about it because other people's misadventures, I don't know why, are amusing. Why? Because it makes you forget all about yours. <laughs> okay, here we go. Two, three, four, five, six. This time I've gotten them all. Why didn't I? Didn't I not get them all last time? Did I not get them all last time? Because now I'm at 90. How many red coins am I up to? Four still? And I'm about to get my fifth. So that's 92. So I don't know, folks. I don't know. Maybe the coins that I got didn't register. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe the game just deliberately did that so that way I can enjoy this Shigeru Miyamoto curse this time. Because, folks, the curse does work, and once again, I failed to come back on the polls. It's never going to happen because it's loaded with the Shigeru Miyamoto curse. There is no way you have to come back here and redo the pole jumping from the beginning again. Damn it. That's if you can get up the blocks. Once again, Shigeru Miyamoto, that's not the way I programmed it. As he says that with a giant smile on his face. You're doing good. No, I'm not doing good, Shigeru. Look, I can't even jump out of the water. This is how... Look at this. Look, he's doing a little dance. I cannot get out of the water even. Okay, there we go. That's just the way I broke it. Will you shut up? You know, I've, I've been thinking it over, folks. I really have. I would love to meet the man Shigeru Miyamoto, meet the legend himself. I know he is legendary in his own right, in his own time. And I would love to meet that man, but at the same time, I really don't want to. I'd love to meet him, but at the same time, I don't want to meet him. I don't want to look at his face. I don't want to see his smile. I don't want to shake his hand. I don't want to bow to him. At the same time, I would feel honored if I were to. I don't know what I would do. I honestly don't. Just looking at him and, oh, come on. And looking at all the reactions of all the times the Shigeru Miyamoto curse has affected my gameplay and drove me up the wall, caused me to shout great obscenities at the wall. I've broken many controllers on that behalf of that curse. If I met Shigeru Miyamoto, I don't know what I would do. I honestly do not know what I would do. I would never hit the man. I'm not a violent person. I would never threaten. I would never hit. I would never induct harm onto anybody, not even a spider. But folks, in the case of Shigeru Miyamoto and his curse, I would probably cry. That's it. I would cry if I ever met him. And just if I saw that smile, I would cry because that's the same smile I picture on his face if he were watching me play this game right now. And I would just cry, like a baby, like a child. I would probably cry. Who knows? Shigeru Miyamoto probably gets that a lot. See? Like I said, he probably gets that a lot because of the curse. The curse works, folks. The curse works. And I hate it. With a vengeance. I hate this curse. I cannot get... Oh, come on, Mario. You are killing me. You are literally and utterly killing me. Not to mention killing my time for this frickin' 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 back in video. I just want to get those last two coins. Is that too much to ask? Apparently it is. Apparently it is for Shigeru Miyamoto. It's way too much of a thing to ask for. I know you can't do that. Oh yes, I can. <laughs> you thought I was gonna go for it, didn't you, Shigeru? All right. So while we're waiting for the poll to come back, I got 92 coins, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98. And there's the 98. Where's the other two? Coin 
queen number eight, of course, but where is queen number eight? Because I got that last time, didn't I? Okay, good. Now, please don't screw this up, Mario. Please don't screw this up. That's number six. Whatever you do, don't screw this up, because I really don't want to come back out here. This video's going to be like an hour and a half long. Thank you, Mario. Thank you, Mario. 96? Yeah, 98. Where's the other two coins? I've been everywhere. Shigeru. If I knew how to say it in Japanese, I would. Trust me. But I don't get where those other two coins are. Where are they? I've been everywhere, Shigeru. Where are they? I know a lot of people are like, I know where they're at, I know where they're at! And screaming at the top of your lungs, trying to get me to locate them, but this is maybe one star I will not be able to get because I can't find where the damn coin is. I thought it was like somewhere around here, if anything. Like closer to the current area over here? No. Maybe they did forget to render in. Who knows? I don't know. There's two coins I'm missing. Where are they? They just... They just didn't register or anything. I don't know. Maybe they just didn't show up. I've, folks, I've gotten every single coin I can find. Unless they're invisible. <gasps> there they are! Oh, thank you! Woohoo, folks! Oh my god. These coins were practically in. Because of the draw distance. That's what it was. The draw distance. And I forgot about this ring of coins. 106 total, right there. 106 coins total, which is barely. Okay, I found 70 of them. Thank you for that. Tell me that. That is barely enough for margin of error. That is barely enough to let you go, okay, well, you know what, I'll just leave these coins behind. That is barely enough for a margin of error. Let's get that damn star and get the hell out of here. No, that's not the one we need to be at. We need to go back over here where it started. Can we make it? Can we make it? <laughs> you thought that curse was going to get to me again, Shigeru! Alright, let's get the star and get the frig out of here because I got two other levels I gotta clear and this, like I said, this video is gonna be an hour long, so sorry about that, folks. So I tell you what, I'm just gonna cut out the first part of the video where I was going around looking for the coins. It's not as interesting as this time around. Not as interesting as this time around. So I will cut the first part of that video out so that I can save on time. Let's go straight into the other area where we need to be. The next two stars will be in that said area. Let's do the easiest one. Alright, here we are. Now, all we have to do on this one, I like to do this one first, get this one out because it's easy. All we gotta do is just find, okay, let's first get up and out because we gotta line ourselves up with those rings. Get some air too while we're at it. Okay, now on your way down, take a look and see where you're at, where the bubbles are and where those rings are. You wanna kinda just kind of just do this. One, two, three, four, five. Easy peasy getting through those rings. So now what you need to do, avoid that vacuum space like the plague, is to come over here where the Metal Mario cap is. Right over here. And just jump right on down. Your main goal is heading right where that star is. And hopefully you can do it before you run out of power, and it's usually easy to do. That's the easiest star in the whole level to get. Easiest one. Now 
this one through the jet stream. And now finally, the very last tip of the crap iceberg in this level. Collect the caps. The fun one. This one requires precision timing. Like everything else Shigeru Miyamoto does. This one requires timing and being able to be in the right spot at the right time. Like most of his cursed uh, areas of game. I don't know what else to call it. It's cursed, whatever it is. What we need to do is get into that cage, which they stuck right next to the vacuum, vacuum space. Very conveniently, I might add. But once you're Metal Mario, that doesn't make any difference. Alright, what we're going to need to do first is come over here to our invisible cap, and if Mario can jump out of the water, of course he can't do it. Third time's a charm, okay. We need to first get the invisible cap, then get the metal cap. Okay. And now we need to jump in, sink to the bottom, and then race like the devil to that caged area, which, as long as you're in, you can make it and then grab the star. All you're really wanting to do is just get in the cage. So you can grab the star. That's collecting the caps. That is the last part of this level. Thank the Lord above. Hallelujah. We have done it all. Dire Dire Docks. Wait a minute. Is that the one? Dire Dire Docks. Yeah. Dire Dire Docks is done, done, done. So is this basement. We don't need to come back anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, we have completed the basement full of levels. We have completed the haunted house. We have completed the main foyer of the castle. Our next and final area is the upstairs. So won't this be fun? Uh, I used to know how to do that trick. Too. Oh, there it is. I, uh, I remembered the trick. I remember the trick to get Mario through the floor. There's a glitch that was fun. Anyway. That. Right there. The water strider picture. That is our next level. Right there, folks. So we'll see you next time on Let's Play. Enjoy yourselves. And sayonara.